Hi there. Welcome to HAL ERP. Let us quickly see how to navigate through your app. The first screen you will see after you log in is your dashboard, which shows how your business is doing. To access the menu, move your mouse to the far left of the browser window and you will see the menu slide out. You can toggle the menu visibly by clicking the menu icon. To minimize the menu, click this left arrow and access the same by hovering over the icons. To quickly find the module or the report, use the search bar above. Let us select invoicing to open it. In the entire app, you have to know just two screens. This screen you see now is the transactions screen, and this is the report grid. All the invoices you make will appear on this screen. You can group the invoices by a particular column name by dragging and dropping the column name. To adjust the width of the columns, you can click and drag manually or use the Adjust Columns button to adjust the columns automatically. You can sort the invoices by clicking the column header or you can filter them. To show or hide columns, use the Show Hide Columns button and click Apply. To save this as a report, click the Save Report button, give a name, and click Save. To access this report later, Click the Custom Report button and select the report name. To export this data to a spreadsheet, you can select and copy the cells and paste them right into a spreadsheet. Or to download this data, click the Print icon and download it in the desired format. You can do your own analytics from the Analyze tab. You are free to play with the options provided here and even download these charts by clicking the Download Charts button. The important metrics for this invoicing module is given as a status at a glance. You can even customize it by clicking this Edit button. Fill in the desired ranges and click Save. You can make the entire report full screen by clicking this full screen button. To create a new invoice, click the Create New button. This is the second screen, which is a form. The fields that are marked with the red asterisk are mandatory. To add items to any table, click the Add Items button. You can select multiple items and click Add. To edit any value, you can double click on the cell and make changes, or even copy and paste just like a spreadsheet. To delete an item, select the item and click the trash icon. To remove all the items from the table, click the Delete All Rows button. You can quickly create new items from this very screen. Click the Create Items button to create a new customer. Click on this plus icon near the customer field. Once the details are entered, click the Add button to save this invoice. To view all invoices, click the View Transactions button. You can double click any invoice to open it. You can also select the particular invoice by searching and selecting from this drop down. To print the invoice, click the print icon.